So far as we've been adding entities to our data source view, we've been using a command on the context menu called add remove tables. When we click that command, we'll receive a list of all the tables and views within any of our underlying data connections, and we can choose that entire table or entire view. There might be times when we want to have a little more control over this process, and there's another option that lets us write the query ourselves. So why might we want to do that? And let's look at one scenario. So in our store table, we have this column called store manager. And if we look at it, we can see that store manager is a number. And that's actually a number that relates to the employee table within our data warehouse. But let's say that we don't really want to add the entire employee table because there's a lot in it, many columns. We're only interested in a few columns. And we don't really want to use the names of these columns either. And to do that, we could write a query like this. Let me just run that, which brings in the employee key but gives it a new name of store manager, just like our store table has, and then concatenates the first and last name with a space in between, a little more friendly. Let's take this query and use this instead for our dimension query. So to add that query to my DSV as a dimension table, I just need to right click, select new named query. That'll give me this design environment where I can add tables and so on. I just put my query that I already have into the clipboard, so I'll paste that in there. You can still switch back to the query builder if you'd rather. I'm going to call this table within my DSV dim store manager. and click OK. And so you can see I have this virtual table. This table doesn't really exist in the underlying data warehouse. I just made it up. But I like it better because the key name actually matches what's in the store table and it has this simpler kind of a field for the, man for the store manager name. If I want to see what that looks like, I can click Explore Data. I just have my two column virtual table. Then I'll do the same thing I did in a previous lesson. I'm going to set the logical primary key for this table to the store manager column. And I'm going to use drag and drop to relate that to my store table. And that's really all there is to it. So adding tables to your DSV can be either real tables, physical tables, or views within the underlying database. Or you can define your own query for those tables in the DSV based on the tables that are in the underlying data source. When you look at the DSV, you can tell the difference between the two by taking note of the icons that are at the top left of each table. You can see that they're different between a physical table in the underlying data source and a named query.